Hey, first grade friends, go ahead and grab your verb packet out. The other things you'll need is a pencil, and then we are finding nouns, verbs, and adjectives. So you'll need the red, orange, and green that we've kind of kept, we'll keep with the same colors because that's what we've been doing since before we left. So find either probably a crayon or colored pencil so you can read the words below. So red, orange, and green. All right, and we're gonna find this page. Hopefully the sentences you wrote yesterday using the words that we were sorting, you did a great job on. I can't wait to see those. But we're gonna do this one. We've got all three of, of them again. I know, so many words. Nouns, adjectives, and verbs. And this is why we chose our three colors. If you want to go word by word and decide what it is, you can do it that way, or you can go and find all the nouns first, and then all the adjectives, and then all the verbs. You do this the way that would be easiest for you. So you're gonna choose three colors, which we did, and color the nouns, adjectives, and verbs in different colors. So we know the nouns are all red. And if you want to remember, you can underline nouns. The ver adjectives are all orange. And the verbs we've been doing, green. So that's a good help to help you remember what color. So let's start. Um, for me, I'd probably go in order so I don't lose any, but you could do it differently. You can find all the nouns. I don't want to find them all for you, so we're going to start. So eat, what is eat? Is it a person, place, or thing? Is it describing one of those things? Or is it something that someone can do? Is it an action word? If you said action word, that means it's a verb, then you're right. So you're just going to color in that box or the word, and you're going to color it green because it's a verb. Um, so you're going to go through all of these words. I'm going to find real quick. I'll find one for each of you. Let's see. Find a noun. You can do the first three. Oh, I can, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that would be easy then. So if we do cold, what is cold? Cold is describing something, so that would be orange, so it's an adjective. And then the next one being a cake, something that you eat, so it's something that you can touch. It's a thing, it's a noun. So there's the first three done for you. There's many other words here. Read through them. Um, some of them you might need help with, others sound out, and fill out, find out all of them. So, oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> Once yes, wait, there's I more. <laughs> Once you're done, just like we've been doing, you're going to write, there's a lot of words here, and it can be a little, a lot. So you're going to choose one of each, a noun, an adjective, a verb. In fact, I'll use my three words here, and you're going to write a sentence. <laughs> and you're going to write it, whatever three words you chose. So I eat cold <laughs> and it's okay if it's silly cake and what does it end in a period so you're I gonna eat write any kind of cake i know right? <laughs> usually cake is cold so yeah so i eat cold cake maybe it's an ice cream cake so you're going to write three sentences using the words that you find here a noun an adjective and a verb make sure it starts the capital letter spacing between your letters and a period at the end then you can just write them on the back here that's why using a crayon or colored pencil are best. All right, then we go to the next page. Working on the same thing, parts of speech. Paste the words in the matching column and row. So you'll need your pencil or if you wanna cut them out. If you'd rather just write, you can do that or you can cut and paste. They've done the first one for you as an example. So there's a picture. What is it? The noun is a flower. The adjective that describes this flower is pretty. And what does the flower do? it blooms. So what is it? What does it look like? And what does it do? Noun, adjective, verb. So you're going to fill in the words that they give you for the sun, the rabbit, and the scissors. And you'll put in the noun, which I just told you what they were. So that was an easy part. What adjective describes that noun? And then what verb? What do those things do? And then of course, guess what you're going to do next? For each one, even this flower one, you're gonna write four sentences for each. For your sentence might be, so I'm gonna turn it over. And the first one would be the pretty flower blooms. That's one way you could write it. So there's a sentence, the pretty flower blooms, capital letter, spacing, period at the end. So that is your work today, working on nouns, adjectives, and verbs, all parts of speech, all things that make up a sentence. Have fun with it, and we'll see you tomorrow.